In this video, I'm going to share with you guys how to remove crayon from car carpet and specifically in this minivan. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So here's what I'm dealing with right now. This is some crayon that has been melted onto the carpet. Now there are a lot of different ways to attack a situation like this, but I want to show you guys specifically what I'm going to do to make this clean, quick, and easy. So with a situation like this, it is going to be necessary or basically necessary to use a steamer. There are other ways to go about this. For example, if this was in, I've seen detailers where if things like this is in a part of the car carpet that's really unseen, you could use like a box cutter and maybe even cut it out. But I don't want to actually do damage. I want to be cleaning it. I want to be fixing it. And so the issue comes in with a steamer is if I just use a steamer on this, it really just makes it spread into the other car parts of the carpet and it kind of makes it, uh, you know, kind of bounce up and the color gets everywhere. And so what I'm going to do is use my super clean diluted five to one and I'm just gonna spray it very lightly I'm not gonna oversaturate anything then I'm gonna take a blue microfiber towel I reserve the blue microfiber towels for dirty jobs like this these are kind of my throwaway towels and I'm just gonna put the towel over the color mark itself and over kind of the surrounding area and I'm not gonna speed this up because I want you guys to see kind of what I'm doing in live action I'm going to use my steamer through the microfiber to spray the color and then we'll look at it after and kind of explain why I did this All right, let's take a look here. So you guys can see number one on the underside of the microfiber is obviously tons of color, tons of that crown, but then you guys can check out how it's coming up from the carpet. It's being removed. Yes, it's getting a little bit on these plastic pieces, but really the main reason why I'm doing it this way is because this is the clean way to do it. I've already cleaned all these other areas and not necessarily the carpet, but these plastic pieces. And so I don't want to get the crown and the color splashed up onto everything after I've cleaned it and then have to go back. Now this way, as I'm cleaning it, the microfiber towel itself is cleaning it up as well. And so basically all I'm gonna do is repeat that process until I get the result I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch it to kind of a cleaner side and go ahead and do this again. Now there's a certain point that you get to where it starts to look like it's more, it's less of like the piled up color and it's more of like a stain that's left on the carpet. And it's at that point that I change to rapid remover. This is an adhesive remover. You guys can check out another video I have of this product, why I love it so much. I'll link it up in the YouTube card right now. But I use this product on carpet, even though it's like a sticker adhesive remover for like exterior surfaces or maybe windows because it's a great stain remover as well, especially with these things like color. Now this carpet, Carpet may not be able to fix be fixed with just cleaning alone for example it might come to a point where there's still a residue of color left and you have to actually dye it in order for it to be kind of restored to the original appearance but once again this is kind of the after effect or what happens when something like this sits here for this long so we'll go ahead and see how this works with the steamer <laughs> So now at this point, there are different things that you can do, different approaches you can take, nothing else. Kind of the, what I'm looking to do is use my microfiber until I see that nothing else is coming up. So this is obviously um, a ton of the color that has come up, but eventually when you switch to a clean side like this and you're still steaming and nothing comes up and it doesn't dye the microfiber, you can kind of see that the rest of it is really just gonna be staining. So there's a couple approaches you can take at this point. You can extract, you can uh, extract it and then dye it. But what I'm gonna do is actually use an extractor and then kind of go from there. I don't actually carry any carpet dye just because I don't like to kind of step into that area of things. I would rather just leave it a little imperfect and say, look, this is a deep, this is not a detailing issue. This is not a cleaning issue. This is a repair issue. But I'm gonna go ahead and extract it and show you guys kind of how even after extracting it, this is really gonna stay fairly similar to what it looks like right now. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
you guys can see here the result after steaming it with the microfiber um, using super clean 5 to 1 uh, rapid remover adhesive remover and then actually extracting it all together and when you extract it you can actually see the color of the water that's being sucked up and here the water was totally clear it was just a solution of soap and water you could see it was clear just white which tells me that no color is being sucked out which then tells me this is literally a stain it has the color itself has dyed the carpet a different color so really the only solution at this point is to actually dye the carpet back to this gray color the problem with carpet dyes is that a lot of times they're kind of off of the original color so it looks even weirder afterwards whereas if you just left the stain you could understand and see okay it's just a stain and it doesn't look quite as odd as it would if you put a whole new uh, kind of gray color on this so that's why I steer clear of things like that but basically guys this is how you actually lift the color up without getting it everywhere and kind of keep it isolated in this single position and then of course you can communicate with your customer afterwards and explain the process you did explain why this is still there after the color itself has been sucked out so I hope that video helped if you liked it make sure to hit the thumbs up button and if you have any questions comments concerns hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can and if you'd like to get your hands on a steamer or any of the products that I used in this video I'm gonna hook up links to the steamer I used and as well as some inexpensive steamers that won't uh, cost you $900 like the one I do it's a bit easier on your wallet of course I'll hook up the super clean and the rapid remover as well definitely use the Amazon links below if you want to purchase those because it does give this channel a very small commission but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time and if you're new to the Wilson Auto detailing community then definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products tools strategies communication skills business skills and so much more all in an effort to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in their businesses and on this channel I share the same strategies that turn my business into a full-time income with part-time hours so if that interests you definitely subscribe once again thank you guys so much for being involved here and as always from Luke at Wilson Auto Detailing keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video Let's <laughs> go.